Today, we're going to look at a key thing you can do that will definitely increase your sales. Hey, it's Don. Today, we're going to talk about multi-purchases from the same buyer. Now, this is an area that most people do struggle with, but there is an insider secret to getting multiple sales to the same person. For most of you who are buying one-offs and just picking up whatever you run into, you have very little opportunity to do multiple sales to the same person because all of your items are different. They're all from different sourcing venues. They're not in the same category. There's no niche for the most part for many of those items that most of you do get. But having a niche or having many niches like us, we've got 25 or 30 different niches that we can play in and have multiple quantities of those items up, that type of selling will definitely increase your revenue, no doubt about it. If you can get somebody in your store that wants to buy one item and you have many in the same category, many in that same niche, chances are you'll have a much higher rate of selling multiple items to the same person. Now, why would it be important to sell multiple to the same person? Well, for one, you save them postage when you sell multiples like that. And as well, you are saving yourself the time to wrap multiple items instead of just a whole bunch in one single package. It also does increase your revenue without a doubt. If you don't have, though, multiple items in the same niche, that's just not going to happen. Let's say you're selling clothing and you have 60 or 70 pairs of shoes in your inventory. What's the chance of you selling multiple pairs of those shoes to the same person? It's usually not very high. Same with most any type of clothing. Unless you have one specific size and a ton of them, it's just not going to happen. Take a brick and mortar, for example. They have tons of different varieties of the same size. They want to get you into the store, but once they get you into that store, they want to upcharge you, upsell you, and push other items that you may buy. It's almost impossible to do that when you're on a platform that doesn't give you specific name recognition. Yes, you have a seller store, but when somebody asks, where did you buy something at? It's usually eBay or Amazon. It's not from Don's store or Joe's store or Steve's store. It's just eBay or Amazon. And the only way to break that chain is to have some sort of niche where you have a ton of the same items, where a collector gets in there and he's going to want to buy a whole bunch of things. Nearly every single day of the week, I sell multiple items to the same person. Many days of the week, we may sell a whole bunch of items to five or six different people through that day. That's just something that happens. It never happened before when we were just doing one-offs and whatever we could get our hands on. Obviously, you have to build up to this. You have to have inventory. Now, one area that people say you need to worry about all the time, even in this sort of category, these niche vintage item categories that we sell on, is the sell-through rate. To me, a sell-through rate in vintage means nothing. You have to have the right person in your store to buy those items. Again, you have to have multiples of the same type of item to bring the people back into your store. Once they realize the quantity of certain items you have, they'll keep coming back. And not only will you get multiple sales to the same person, but you'll get multiple different purchases over time from those same people. We've had people shopping with us for five, six, seven, eight years over and over again. Enough to know where I know who has kids and things like that because I do talk and converse with those I know we've dealt with before. Let's hop over and just look at a few just to give you some examples of what is possible. So here's a sale of four items to the same person. This person has been coming back to me for geez, months and months and months, probably a several years. Why do they keep coming back? Because I have mass quantities of something that they collect. People that collect want to see stores that have tons of stuff so that when they come back, there's all kinds of new stuff, all kinds of rares and scarce items that they can source through. So it's a key thing to have multiple items in specific niches. This is one way that definitely, without a doubt, will increase your sales no matter what. I have not seen anybody who didn't up themselves in a niche not have multiple purchases from the same person, as well as seeing a marked increase in the amount of items that they are selling because of those niches they are in. Now here's another lot just to give you another example. This person bought eight labels for 20 bucks a piece. 
These are things that most people would be looking to sell at one-off. They're not going to have a ton of these. Even if you have a few, the odds of you selling all of them or eight at a time are very slim unless you have quantity. Now, I have hundreds upon hundreds of these up, these roller skating labels. You see me sell them all the time. But one factor you don't see all the time is that I sell multiple of them to many different people all the time. It's a huge way to increase my profits. It's a huge way to increase my sales. It works all the time. If you center in on niches, you will see a marked increase in those niches without a doubt. If you do dig into a niche, you are going to see an increase, obviously, in sales, but you will see multiple purchases from the same person, which will greatly increase your sales far above you just selling individual items in that same niche. Here's just another example. This person bought 10 different photos from me, so over $100 in just photos. This is what happens all the time constantly every single day pretty much that I am in business I am selling multiple purchases to the same person if I didn't have a thousand vintage photo eight by tens of these military planes I wouldn't be able to do this one-offs just don't work some of these the person may have never bought had they not been interested in other ones just because they weren't paying extra for shipping so that is a huge plus without a doubt but again as I said this cannot be done unless you have multiple items in the same category or if you're a clothing seller multiple shirts in the same sizes of the same type of material the same type of designs that someone wants this isn't just something that you can just throw some stuff out there and hope to sell a whole bunch to the same person you have got to center in on some niches and as I said in vintage categories there is no sell-through rate that matters to me it just doesn't matter in this sort of thing now again I researched my items I know that they they will sell at some time or that they have a huge interest now I do look at category specific sell through race to see if it's even worth messing with in some categories but once I'm listing in these categories like military photos my sell through rate in my store on these items that I've researched means nothing now figuring out sell through rates people look at those far differently and there is no standardized way that I see people trying to explain the sell through rate on eBay items for example you've got so many that are up for a certain length of time that are active now you've got some that sold within the last 90 days and then you can go back and look at Terapeak and look at for a year there may be two months where none sold because there weren't any up or something along that line and then the next month, someone like me comes along and sells a whole bunch to the same person. And then, boom, it changes all the figures. So the sell-through rate is not something that you can pretty much calculate on vintage items. With vintage items like this, I use the same philosophy that an antique store does. You have to get the right person in your store for them to sell in the first place. An antique store doesn't really care about sell-through rate. What they do care about is how much money they are bringing in on a daily basis. It doesn't matter how much they have in the store. It doesn't matter how much is selling item-wise. It matters how much money you are making. My bottom line is what matters. So as long as I'm making so much profit on a daily basis, my sell-through rate doesn't mean anything in these vintage items that I have. Now, obviously, if you're selling different items, there will be different considerations and sell through rate does come into play like on certain books or certain other items that I sell that aren't vintage I do want to know the sell through rate so it comes down to you knowing what type of business you have and whether a sell through rate is important or not vintage collectibles a sell through rate means nothing to me but new NOS and certain other items the sell through rate is key because it dictates how well those items will do it's mostly NOS or FBA or something along that line but there are two different considerations for a sell through rate having an importance and for the items that I show you in this store the sell through rate means nothing if I have $2,000 in fees but yet I'm selling $20,000 a month does that $2,000 cost that I'm spending to list those items matter or not it doesn't really matter because I'm bringing $18,000 down to the bottom line now in this case the $2,000 is just pennies when you consider that I've made $18,000 after the fees and everything is deducted out of it so that's the point in this again a sell through rate in that aspect means nothing the $20,000 with the merchandise I sold again the sell through rate could be 0.00000001 and no one would think to mess with that but again sheer quantity overrules anything related to a sell-through rate in vintage items 
But anyway, that's what I have for you today. That is something that you really need to dig into and something that will increase your sales. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Yes. I know you can. What's that spell? Y-E-S. Yes. You said it.